When Washington Irving wrote the tale of Sleepy Hollow, he called it fiction. But is it really? Well, I searched these city streets in search of the Headless Horseman. This is Sleepy Hollow. Every building, every bridge, every barn is inhabited by a spook, a headless horseman. He doesn't stay buried, no. He crawls out of his grave with his horse. And then he rides, looking for his lost head. Wait a minute, hold your horses. You mean to tell me the legend of Sleepy Hollow isn't just fantasy and folklore like the Johnny Depp movie? Horseman! Turns out it is a real town with real people who've been passing on their legend for generations. Anyone heard of Ichabod Crane? Me! Yeah, Ichabod Crane. Was he fat or skinny? Skinny. He was super duper skinny. He looks creepy. Hey, look! Maybe Ichabod Crane thinks we look weird. At the aptly named Horseman Restaurant, Ichabod is the talk of the town. If you came here, what do you think he'd eat? I'd say he would probably eat roast beef, mm. mashed potatoes, Yum. pumpkin pie. Now it turns out that this Ichabod Crane, the really skinny dude, had a crush on a girl, Katrina Von Tassel. One sunny day, a messenger arrived at the schoolhouse and invited Ichabod to a party at the Von Tassel farmhouse, a party at Katrina's. Ichabod was gonna go to a party at Katrina's. Set far into the woods is the actual Van Tassel home, if you're brave enough to visit. Heard any things go bump in the night? The house is very peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> I will not stay here alone. Really? Has anyone seen the Headless Horseman, by the way? Me. The Headless Horseman is real, but he would cut off your head to replace his. <gasps> here at the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, seeing his ghost mm. isn't anything unusual. Has the Headless Horseman been seen in and around these parts? Yes, as a matter of fact, he has been seen within the last few days. Really? And then, out of the shadows, there rose a huge, dark figure. Who are you? Ichabod asked. Instead of answering, the shadowy figure slowly moved to the middle of the road. What was that? Ichabod's eyes flew open in horror. His companion had no head. It's the Headless Horseman. I think so. We're standing on the Headless Horseman Bridge. If you listen closely, you can hear the echoes of the Headless Horseman's horse. The ghost stood up in his stirrups and hurled his head at Ichabod. <gasps> the schoolmaster tried to dodge the missile, but was hit and fell to the ground. Then he go. Exactly. Nothing more was ever heard of Ichabod Crane. Poor guy, what a way to go, huh? I know. What a way to go. Now it's one thing to listen to ghostly stories round a cozy fire. Imagine walking out alone on this night. These stories, apparitions in your head.